Traditionally, there's been two major career pathways for pharmacists. One is into the community pharmacy setting, the other into the hospital pharmacy setting. And what has become evident to us is that medicines are used or prescribed or administered in multiple uh, places. And uh, what, that, what we recognise is that we're missing the opportunity to improve the quality use of medicines in those settings by actually not having a pharmacist embedded in the care there. So a very good example is a pharmacist working in a general practice medicine centre, so either at the point of prescribing uh, or where there's medicines being uh, talked about or used, a pharmacist has a key role there in ensuring um, safe and, and, and quality use of medicines. The same goes for aged care facilities where again uh, pharmacists have roles in aged care already but they are sort of fly in fly out type opportunities and what we're hoping to see is a pharmacist truly embedded a part of that aged care team to provide that consistent quality use of medicines advice and expertise. Uh, and this goes for a multitude of other areas where medicines are, are one of the most commonly used treatment modalities uh, in primary care and secondary care. Uh, and there are times now where the pharmacist's device is not being uh, uh, utilised because the pharmacist is simply not there. And so we see a, a genuine role for pharmacists being embedded as part of the healthcare team in settings in and around hospital and community pharmacy.